Hey, I'm Laura Searle with Yoga and Fitness To Go, and this is Yoga for Healthy Hands and Wrists. So if you have a desk job and you're working at a keyboard all day, or you're nursing an injury, or you just want to strengthen and stretch your fingertips, your hands, and your wrists, here are some exercises that'll both strengthen and stretch your fingertips, your palms, your wrists, all the way up to your forearms. Now this is something that you can do in just your daily routine. You can do a few of these or all of these. You can implement it in your fitness routine or you can put it into your yoga practice so we're going to start just like we would warming up our body we're going to warm up our hands by just taking our palms and rubbing them together just starting to create a little bit of heat in the fingertips in the palms i'm feeling it already and then what you're going to want to do is imagine that you're washing your hands so this is going to be some mime work right so you're washing your hands with soap and water maybe getting a little bit um, OCD, right? Like really, really trying to clean the hands. And you're just gonna create, all you're doing is creating heat in the fingertips so you can start working your fingertips and working the palms and working um, outer and inner wrists, um, getting them nice and strong and stretched. Now you'll wanna make sure, especially if you're nursing an injury, that you have talked to your doctor before starting any sort of fitness routine, especially ones focusing on the hands, if that's the place that you're injured, right? So first we're gonna start by taking, um, and you can do this, you can do this in your yoga practice in um, downward facing dog or on the floor in sort of your cat cow pose. I'm using a slanted surface just for the um, purpose of this video, um, but you can use this, you can do it at your desk, you can do it at your countertop, you can do it on the floor, you can do it on your bed, whatever feels comfortable. So all you're gonna do is just stretch the fingertips as wide as you possibly can, like jazz hands, and then just softly release. Again, just warming up stretching and releasing and then stretching again as wide as you possibly can really separate those fingertips you'll feel it and then slowly release and then imagine you're just um, counting one fingertip at a time so pinky ring middle pointer thumb and then back around again again just warming up the fingertips and I'm already starting to feel nice and strong here and you want to do this a few times not enough that you'll feel fatigued, but just a couple times each side, especially if this is something that's new for you. Um, you know, obviously we use our hands for a lot of different functions, right? And they're very delicate little features. So you want to make sure that um, you're working them, but not working them too much, right? When we're working our big muscle groups, our biceps, our triceps, our legs, and our core, right, we can get into those muscles a little bit deeper, but when we're working the delicate joints of the hands and the wrists, we want to be a little bit more gentle. Okay, so from here, you can start doing what I like to call wax on and wax off, and you're just cutting into your outer wrists here just a little bit, sort of like windshield wipers, and again, you can do this just kind of like this, you're waving hi to a friend, right, you can do it um, on the floor, anything that feels comfortable, um, so you're waxing on, wax off, I'm probably dating myself, but it's like Karate Kid, right? Wax on, wax off. So all you're doing is just kind of getting into the outer and the inner wrists, getting into the muscles of the forearms. And then you want to just start pointing and flexing the hands. Again, starting to getting into the wrists a little bit. And then you can just sort of wiggle the fingers. What I like to call itsy bitsy spider, right? Or another thing that'll date me, Wayne's World, right? So... It's totally lame, but you can just do that. Wiggle the fingers. You don't have to do this, this dramatically. You can just do it right on your flat surface. And then what uh, I call ahimsa rotations, you're just gonna fold your thumb in towards your hands, just like fists, but non-violent fists, of course. And you're just gonna start to rotate the wrists. And you'll want to, if you hear those little cracks in the joints, that just means you move an air out of the joints. It's a good thing. And then you just want to rotate in the other direction. Again, on a flat surface, what I call the diamond stretch, you're going to take the pointer and the thumb together, and then you're just going to press just to start stretching. Now you can do the same thing with your pointer and your middle finger, just stretch. Again, on a flat surface, if that feels comfortable, or you can do it right in front of the body. You can do it right on the floor, and then you'll take your, um, your ring and your middle finger together and stretch as wide as you possibly can and breathe as deeply as you can. So the muscles will remember for next time to stretch. This is just like stretching in your yoga practice, just like stretching before a run, 
right? You're really getting into those, um, into those little digits. Getting a little bit deeper now into the wrists. Um, again, you can do this uh, on a flat surface. You can do this in cat cow or downward facing dog in your yoga practice. You can do this on the floor or in our slanted, uh, in our slanted service. We're just going to take the fingertips right at the top and press the inner wrists forward towards the front of the room. Fingertips are curling back towards the body. Oh, it feels really good. Good in a slightly painful way, but it is really good. You can also just use the own, your own pressure of your hand to extend the wrist, the inner wrist forward towards the front of the room and the fingertips back towards uh, the body. It's pretty intense, man. You can feel it all the way up to your upper arm. Want to do the other side. And I would say for these kinds of stretches, just anywhere from five to 10 breaths, or if you're patient and you're not doing anything else, like watching TV or reading a magazine, I would say just allow yourself to uh, feel it until the stretch slightly dissipates, right? That's when you sort of met your first or second edge. So we're gonna take it the opposite way now. So the back of the wrist, the same thing. You can do this on the surface. You can do this in your yoga practice. You can do this at your desk, at your counter. You can just use the pressure of your own hands. That feels really good. Again, you'll feel it all the way up. I mean, especially if you've got really tight hands and arms, you'll feel it all the way up to your um, upper arm, especially if you're gonna go really deep here. Deep breath. Again, just until the stretch dissipates, and then you'll be able to go really, really, you know, gonna keep getting deeper and deeper into the stretch. You know, when I first started out, like I wouldn't, I wasn't even able to curl my fingertips this far. I would go like about that far. So it's pretty intense, man, but you will work it and it will get um, better, especially if you're working on an injury. So the next thing, just to strengthen uh, the hands and the fingertips, is you can grab one pound weights, two pound weights. I wouldn't go really too much higher than that. Or if you don't have weights at home, you can use a filled up water bottle, right? And then all you're gonna wanna do to start out just going to use the weights to even myself out here, is um, taking it on a flat surface, just letting the forearms hang off, or you can just kind of lean your um, elbows on your knees. All you're going to do is just allow the wrists, the inner wrists, to reach forward, and then you're going to curl it up. So you keep the wrists straight, start at neutral, and then lower them down. Oh, that feels good. And then this kind of thing, you can do a couple sets, anywhere between 8 and 12. And then if you want to get into the fingertips a little bit more, especially with the lighter weights, you don't want to go any heavier, is you can start extending the fingertips down and then curling up. Oh yeah, feels good. You want to make sure if you're leaning your elbows on your knees that you don't want to be anywhere near your feet because God forbid you actually drop a weight on your foot, that would just not be good. Then you'll have to go to physical therapy for your feet and that's no fun. <laughs> So you do a few repetitions of that, and then you can flip it upside down and do the same thing here. Start at neutral wrists, right? And then you can curl it up towards the sky and back to neutral. You wanna go a little bit deeper and you can drop the weight, but not use the momentum of just a drop, right? Don't do what I just did. You're just gonna slowly roll it down towards the floor and up towards the sky. This is really, really great, especially for those with carpal tunnel anywhere right between the metal metacarpals here nice and strengthening right especially if you're sitting at a desk all day man your you know your hand is in a certain position for such a long period of time that it really is it's important to stretch these babies right so you want to do a few repetitions of that once or twice you can do it at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day and then if you have a ball at home you know just a stress ball, right? A tennis ball. You can just work on squeezing. Again, several repeti repetitions, strengthening in the metacarpal, strengthening in the fingertips and the joints of the wrist. Squeeze a bunch of times, one hand, the other hand. It's really good. And then you can hold on to that ball, a bigger ball, or if you don't have a ball, you can just interlace the fingers and just sort of turn the wrists from side to side. You're gonna get the inner wrists, outer wrists, the front of the wrists, and the back of the wrists. And this feels really good too. All of these feel really good. And then you can do the same thing with extended fingertips, or what I like to call walk like an Egyptian, right? So you'll just sort of press into the fingertips, 
right? And you can reach those fingertips forward towards the front of the room. You can start to sort of point them over towards the right. You get a nice deep stretch in the right hand. Over towards the left, you'll get a nice deep stretch in the left hand. Again, only breathe into that stretch until that stretch dissipates. And then you can take those fingertips, point them towards the heart. Very yogic, this is a great one to practice in your yoga practice. Then you can interlace the fingers and just stretch those fingertips forward towards the front of the room. That is a good one, people. Deep breath. And then you can interlace the opposite way and switch it up just a little bit and extend the back of the palms forward towards the front of the room. It's another good one. And then just to go a little bit more intense, you'll reach the fingertips forward towards the front of the room, flip the palms so they're facing the right and the left. You'll take the right palm on top of the left, interlace the fingers, and then imagine you're threading a needle. So you're gonna take the hands and you'll reach them under and forward. This can be pretty intense. So I would save this to be one of the, the latter parts of your um, exercise program for strengthening and stretching the hands and the wrists. I wouldn't go right out of the gate with this one, is what I'm trying to say. It's pretty intense. Again, wait till that stretch dissipates, unwind, and then take it the other way. So that left palm is gonna go on top of the right palm and you're gonna thread it under and you're gonna send it forward. Now again, one um, palm on top of the other might feel a little bit different than the other. So you may be able to extend the arms forward towards the front of the room. You may only be able to get this far. It depends on where we're dominant in the body. Um, you know, for right-handed or left-handed. So it's really important to just allow the difference in the size of our bodies. That's it. And don't try to force it to match. That ain't gonna work. Deep breath. And then our last stretch. Especially if you're uh, getting older and you're starting to get a little bit of arthritis in the fingertips, which is natural. Um, for a lot of us, uh, you're going to want to stretch the fingertips nice and wide and just curl the first part of the little digits, like curling in, like you were going to be a scary monster. Arrgh. Just little curls. Try to curl in just the first digits. And then after five to ten, with wide fingertips curling in, you're going to curl, you're going to fold right at the knuckle. Again, you'll do about five or 10, and then you're gonna curl all the way in towards the center of the palm. Ooh, did you hear that? Yikes. Creaky joints. A few more times, and then we're starting to ease towards the end of our practice. So if you've got a foam roller or even just a paper towel roll, I'm nearing towards the end of my paper towel roll. So if you've got a full roll, that's totally cool. Um, or if you've got a rolling pin, you can just take it at the fingertips, start at the fingertips and just roll. You can roll all the way up to the forearm and just start to release any little kinks that you didn't get out with those uh, stretches and those exercises. It feels really nice, especially the paper towel because it's nice and soft. But you can go as deep as you'd like, um, you know, if you've got something like a little bit harder. Not too much into the bones, right, because we're very sensitive here, so don't go too far, don't push too, too much. And then you could do the same thing. You can flip the hands so that the palms are face up and just roll. And it should feel really nice and soothing. Ah. Again, deep breath. And then you'll just do that a few more times. And then from here, you can just kind of flick the fingertips, right? We've got a lot of little acupressure points at the very tips of the fingertips. So you'll notice that you'll just feel a little bit relaxed here. Again, you can integrate these into your yoga practice right before your fitness routine. In between, while you're on the treadmill or the elliptical, you can do any one of these exercises. Um, maybe not the one with the weights, right? And then just shake it out. Shake it like a Polaroid picture, that's what I like to call this. Just to release any more tension in the hands that you might not have released. Don't go too violent with the hands, just a nice shake as if you were shaking off water and there was no towel in sight. And then the last is maybe just a little bit more of a massage. You can just start to rub into the center of the palm, 
the top of the palm, right into the fingertips, the whole finger. Just roll it around there. Feels really good. On this whole set, if you did it from beginning to end, it should only take you a few minutes to do. And you'll feel as good as new, nice and strong. You'll feel really strong. You'll feel nice and refreshed in the hands. And you're good to go. Thanks so much for joining me. And uh, tune in to more episodes of Yoga and Fitness to Go. I'm Laurie Searle. Be good to yourselves. Uh, wear your sunscreen and drink tons of water. Thanks.